Hello and welcome to Cooking with Miss Brenda and today we are making my famous vegetable lasagna and uh, you do not have to write the recipe down because you can get it right on our website kidsclubforjesus.org kidsclubforjesus.org uh, but if you want to it's okay you can maybe you've already printed it off and if you have and you want to make notes that's good too so I'm for those of you that like that and would like to um, write it down I'm going to give it to you uh, for this, you will need one medium onion, two cups of sweet peppers, red, yellow, or orange, three cups of fresh mushrooms, two cups of broccoli, three cups of yellow squash, and that's yellow summer squash, three cups of zucchini, one teaspoon of sweet basil, two teaspoons of parsley, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, two teaspoons of salt, garlic salt to taste, two cloves of garlic, a fourth a teaspoon of oregano, six cups of spaghetti sauce of your choice, and one package of uh, either no cooked lasagna noodles or regular lasagna noodles that you cook according to the package instructions, and then a nonstick cooking spray. So I have already have the onions um, sauteing on here, so I'm going to just show you that right there. And so that's because I really, really do not like raw onions. If you do, it's probably not going to be as critical to you, but I really, really don't like raw onions. I love onions if they're cooked, but I really want them cooked. And before I go any farther, I really want to just say a very, very special t um, thank you to my very dear friends, uh, Lachelle and Haziel, uh, who purchased this microphone so that you don't have a hollowed out sound. So I really want to hear from you and tell me what you think of the sound. Be if it's a lot better than what we normally have. If you've joined us before, we sound like I'm in a hollow tunnel. And I really want to just thank them so much. I didn't have any clues. She sent us a surprise. It got opened the mail. There it is. And uh, never asked for it anything, I promise. But what a beautiful gift. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. So I believe your husband is um, a, an audio technician that's like um, an expert. So I'd love him to listen in and tell me how, what he thinks. Um, there's actually two of these. So when I have a guest with me, they can wear it as well. And it came just in the nick of time because everybody, I have a very special surprise for you next Wednesday for when we come live for you for cooking. I want to share with you that my mom is going to be with us. And I'm so excited that she will be on the cooking program with us. So I'm really, you, you want to tell all your friends and loved ones come in here. This is the woman that taught me to cook. And I just love her so much. And I'm so excited that she's going to be with me and on the program. So tell everybody you, want, you won't want to miss next week's program. And um, Melissa's going to tell me, I believe what we have for next week's program is cakes. Um, we, I, we will be, um, in fact, she might even already have read something ready to post to show you that um, we have four different cakes that you can vote on and you can choose from. And it's going to be an amazing time. So, Lachelle, Haziel, thank you so much for the microphone. I truly, truly appreciate it. And, um, and I really want to ask you to let me know if you have any questions anywhere throughout this program. You got a question, go ahead and let me know. Um, uh, Melissa is here with me, my good friend and general manager of our Kids Club for Jesus uh, network. Uh, she's here and she's uh, emailing me, just she's texting me back and forth. So if you have any comments or anything that I need that I might have missed, um, she's going to let me know. And I want to just um, connect up real quick so that I have it right here as well. So that if anything happens to her computer. One of these times I'm going to have Melissa come in and say hi. She, she, she really doesn't like to be in front of a camera, but one of these times I am going to get her in front of her and go, hey everybody, so you can see uh, who she is. There you go. And, um, and I think I have you live. So that's awesome. So we have um, Rhonda's joined us today. It's nice to see you, uh, Rhonda. Thank you for joining us. And, uh, and then we also have um, Let's see, Tanji and Jerry have joined us as well. And tell me where you're from. I would love for you to tell me when you, when you, when you come in on. And if you have any questions at all, just tell me where you're from. I would love to know that. So let's get cooking. Uh, you know me. I'm going to have my kitchen gloves on. 
and I keep them very, very handy because they're, I, I did this long before there was anybody even heard of coronavirus. I've been using my gloves. So I really, really like things nice and clean and germ free. I'm a registered nurse and I think maybe probably some of that nursing background, I've really got to have everything clean, clean, clean in my kitchen. So we have our onions cooking here. I'm going to crank up the heat now a little bit because the onions are done, but we are going to just start adding the ingredients here. So first I'm going to add, um, well, I, I'll add the mushrooms and let them start cooking. And you'll need a nice big pan like I have. And some of these mushrooms are kind of big like this. So I'm, I'm just breaking a few of them up in my, you don't, no need to chop them. I just break, if there's any really extra big ones, I kind of just, you know, just crumble them a little bit with my hands and see like this. And it's okay if they're, if they're not, if they're not great big mushrooms, you don't even need to do that unless you like it that way. You, just, you know, you want to do things how, how you like it. And that's, that's okay. It's not only okay, it's a good thing to do. Okay. So I'm just... Um, letting that saute in there and now I'm going to get my garlic ready. So I have a really awesome garlic press. I want to say thank you to my very dear friend uh, Gerda von Mauer who I was in Germany visiting her. She lives in Frankfurt, Germany and um, they are her and her husband Reed are in charge of AFCO Europe which is Amazing Facts School of Evangelism and I teach out there every year for quite a few years now and I love my time there, especially because Gerda and I always get some girl time to, to get away and do a little shopping. And, and we were shopping together and came across this garlic press, German made. It's R-O-S-L-E, I believe is the name of it. I love this thing. I think it's one of my favorite kitchen gadgets. And it's a garlic press that's so easy to clean because this thing comes out like this. It's so well made. And you just put your garlic in here and squeeze and then to clean, you just lift this out and scrape it off. It's that easy. So let me just get, and guess what? You don't have to. Normally, I'm going to get off two cloves of this garlic. And uh, you don't have to take the skin off of it or anything. That's the beauty of this press. Let me put this over here. You just take, see, I didn't even take the skin off of it. So I put my thumb on this part here, okay? And I'm going to put it right in there. And guess what? Look it. I'm going to put it like here so that you can kind of see how it comes out. And just shoot it right in there. And then I just take an edge and go off like that just to get everything. I like all that goodness right in there. And then look at here. See this? Just take it all off like that. And it's ready for the next one. And let me put that in here. Oh, it smells so good already in here. Let me turn my heat down maybe a little bit. And then look, just squeeze it. It just comes right out there. And I love this because normally you have to separate the, the take the skin off and you have to mince it and all that. But with this, you don't have to at all. It, it does it for you. All Look at all that peeling. It's right in here. And what I'll do is I will make sure on our Kids Club for Jesus website, we put instructions on how to get one of these if you want one. And no, I don't get any money for advertising this at all. Now, my um, Melissa has told me that she has one that she loves. And she, and she likes it too. She said it works very similar the same way. So you might find one. I just get sharing with you what I love and what I like. Okay, so I'm going to put this right over here. And actually what I should have done, let me put this in here. When you have any garlic or onions and you take a foil, I have these foil sheets, you take and you wrap it up in the foil sheet like that and put it in your garbage and you won't have any smell of garlic or onion in your trash can. Just the just foil will do that for you. So that's what I normally do. So my trash can is going to smell like garlic this time but because I for, forgot. But that's what, what you do. So now my... My, this is looking beautiful, 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 beautiful. See that in there? Okay. And now we're ready to add, we're going to add our zucchini in here. And we're going to add our summer squash. And they cook about the same amount of time. So you can mix that up while they're cooking. And I'm going to go ahead and, while this is cooking now, add our seasoning to this. 
before we add the rest and and it won't take broccoli I add the last very last because broccoli cooks the fastest doesn't take long to cook broccoli now you can put if you have vegetables that you like let's say you're not you're not a good fan of um, summer yellow summer squash you go I don't really like that but then you don't put it in there maybe you want to put green peas in it or green beans or you know something a vegetable that you like so that's that's perfectly fine so now we're going to put that there. In here, we're going to put our oregano. We have just a fourth a teaspoon. Oregano can really overpower a dish. So you want to use it sparingly, um, I, that my belief is. And then I've got... Um, Just chop it up and and just just to really fine, nice and fine, and have fun with it. I mean, this is <laughs> you can just go. All right. So now we do that and put it in the pot right there. Ooh, that smells wonderful. Fresh parsley smells so delicious. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. And we'll put this over here. And let's give, oh, oh, what else we need is our salt. We need, we'd, it, it would be pre, pretty bland without salt. So I have like two, ta two teaspoons of salt in here. And, um, and then I, I have some red pepper flakes. And I'm going to put a teaspoon in. Some of you say, well, I don't like spicy. I don't like, try it with, you will not, it will, won't even come across in your palate as spicy at all, unless you added maybe two or three, um, which I like. But I'm only adding one. It gives it just a little, makes the flavor pop so nicely. In fact, I'm going to just pop it a little more. <laughs> it's just like that. Most of looking at that and going, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's good. All right, so now we're just going to stir that up. And that's going to just season nicely in there. And we're going to cook that until they're tender. Just till they're tender. And I've got the heat cranked up because you can do that on high. Saute it on high. And uh, let's see. Melissa's telling me what my cake options are for next week that you want to hear. She said we have, listen, are you listening to this? This is pretty awesome. Uh, blueberry muffin cake. Lemonade cake gingerbread cake and preacher's cake and let me tell you what that preacher's cake is amazing i don't i've never taken that preacher's cake anywhere that people haven't asked for the recipe not anywhere um so i think you'll like um and then let's see um let's put here let's see here so oh Rhonda bernard thank you for joining us and um, we have to um, Michalo and oh Lester, it's nice to have you with us. And uh, Lachelle, how are we? Lachelle's with us? Lachelle, how are we sounding? I am so grateful for you. So you tell us how we sound, everybody. If you send me a little text here, let me know how, how the how you like the microphone. And do you notice the difference from before? Okay. And let's see. We have um, oh Nancy Morowski. Hey Nancy, I love you, girl. Nancy's a, a friend that I went to um, Academy with, and she is so talented. She's an amazing singer, and she is very, very talented. And what I love about Nancy is that she truly shines for Jesus. She's so multi-talented, so beautifully talented, and she's not full of herself at all. She just really loves the Lord, and, and I love that about you, Nancy. Um, let's see here. Oh, this is looking so good. So now we're going to add our peppers, and this is, makes it nice and colorful. And we'll put those in here. And now our broccoli can go in at the same time there. That's good. Let me put this over here now. And get this out of the way. And let's see. Now I'm just going to toss this together. Ooh, this is looking so good. Now at this point... Um, you can actually, it doesn't, 
because it would cook the rest away in the oven. You know, peppers cook fast and the broccoli cooks fast. So if you wanted to at this point, you could just let it let use it as is. But we're going to let it cook just a minute more. I actually have a lasagna already cooked and ready in the oven for you so that we can pull it out and we can show you. Melissa, how much time is on the oven? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. She's got the timer going. So um, I told her don't be afraid to talk out. You know, you guys want to hear her, right? We're going to get her in front of the camera yet. You just wait. Um, let's see here. Um, and then let's see. Jerry is saying it sounds much better. So uh, awesome. No, and Lachelle says no echo. Is um, Haziel nearby where he can listen? Because he is our expert. So we want to see what, what she says. You said it sounds a ton better. So um, let's get this right here. Ooh, this is so good. Now, I'm just going to give you a, a peek. You can see into that. See? Doesn't that look good? Now that looks like a lot of vegetables. And to be honest with you, this is a lot more. I got a little carried away, I'll be honest. So this is a little more than what it calls for. So follow the recipe, okay? Um, but I got a little bit more in here because I love vegetables. And if I have a little leftover, it's okay because these season so nicely that it's, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm so excited that my mom's coming and also my daughter Becky. And my, um, my son, her husband, Jim, are coming. And my grandsons, Mike and Jace. And if I can, I'm going to have them come in and say a hi, hi to you all next week as well. We'll see if we can do that, okay? Uh, but it's so exciting. And I'd love for you all to meet my, my family. It would be amazing. All right. So now we're going to get everything ready to assemble. These, um, let me just get this over here. Okay. Um, I have already pre-cooked the lasagna noodles. You just cook them according to the package instructions. You can actually purchase a no-cook, a no uh, lasagna noodle that um, you don't have to boil at all. So if you have that and you like working with that, you can. I'm kind of old-fashioned. I like the old-fashioned ones. And, um, and I've, you only really need nine of them. You can see I cooked the whole package instead. Uh, but... Since I have extra, extra vegetables, I'm just going to make a little extra dish. <laughs> so it's not a problem. All right, so I've got my nonstick cooking spray. And I'm just going to spray the bottom so it doesn't stick. And then I'm going to pick out some lasagna noodles. Now, if some of them come off like this when, they're, it's, when you're boiling it, it's not a problem. Okay, so you're just going to piece it down there together. And I'm going to stick another one down here and see. If, and they do that. So it's don't, don't think like you did something wrong. It happens. And it's not a, not a problem at all. I tend to try, if I have any that didn't do it, I leave those for the top just to be, you know, fancy. Because see how this is separated? And when I drained them and put them on here, I sprayed a little non-sticking uh, spray on it so they don't stick together. I like to tell you all my tips. Now, you can use any type of spaghetti sauce that you want. Everybody's got a favorite. That's why there's so many different brands in the store. If you want to make your own, you can make your own. I, I often do. And sometimes I make a homemade vegetarian meat sauce and use in it. And that's good, too. But um, I really wanted just a very simple vegetable lasagna. And I'll be very honest with you. This is a vegan dish because there's, there, it, it, it was created, the recipe, with no cheese. I... I I don't really, I have not found a vegan cheese that I like personally. I know there's many out there and so many of you, so, oh, I love this brand. I love that brand. I've, I've tasted so many of them. I won't say I tasted them all, but I've tasted my share. And I still haven't found one that, that really does it for me because I love the taste of cheese. I just, it, I just can't eat it. Um, but today we're going to just top it with a little bit of cheese um, and put it in the oven, but you don't have to put it on there all. I actually created this recipe for me, so I didn't have, have to have cheese. I'd rather do away with it completely than to have a vegan cheese on it, so that's what I did. And I love it, and you won't, you won't gonna miss the cheese. So if you wanna leave that off, that, that is how I originally made the recipe. So don't feel bad at all just leaving it off. Uh, but if you have a favorite vegan cheese, use it. It's no problem. Okay, so I'm, I don't measure this out. I'm just going to pour a little bit on the bottom like this. And then 
I'm going to turn this off. And sometimes there's a lot of liquid in the bottom of this. And if there is, um, there isn't too bad today, but sometimes they can get real juicy. I get a, just a, um, just with a little bulb syringe and just be able to just kind of go to the bottom of it and it kind of sucks all the juice out and, and then I just put it in here and I will do that sometimes so that all that juice doesn't end up into my lasagna and I want it to, don't want it to be all too juicy, you know, and I just do that. Just suck it up in there. Whew. Okay. So that's if you need to do that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of these handy things here and I'm going to just, let's put it over here. I'm going to just take and sprinkle around some vegetables and I'm getting it from the top so I'm not getting all that juice at the bottom. And you can put as many as you want on there. I've got extra today so I can be generous. And, and then I want to tell you a little, little trick that I do that I think makes a difference. And I like to sprinkle a little garlic salt over the top of it. I think it just makes it pop a little bit. I really like it. So I just go like that. Whew. That's it. And then I'm going to put my next layer of noodles on, just like this. And who is a, I got a perfect one. I think I'm going to save that for the top. And um, let's see, here's one that's not so perfect. And we'll put that in the middle. And here's another one, not so perfect. But it's okay, not a problem. And then we're just going to repeat those layers. We're just going to pour a little, a little of the sauce on it. Down. And if you want cheese throughout at this point, you can. You can, if you want a little cheese in the, you know, in the middle, go ahead for it. A little Parmesan even is fine. And then another layer of, of vegetables. So we're going to just spread those on there. And again, I'm not going down to get the juiciest parts. I go to the top so I, I can avoid some of that juice in there because it's going to get even juicier as it cooks in the oven. It's, this is going to cook in the oven at 375 for about an hour. So that's why I wasn't really concerned about getting, um, you know, too much of the uh, vegetables and not cooked enough because they're going to cook in the oven for about an hour and that's not a problem at all. So look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now we're going to sprinkle in just a swoop like that. A little bit of garlic. And now where'd that perfect one I go? Yeah, there. Look at that. So I'm going to put that right down the middle. Let's see if I have another one that's near perfect. Aha, I do. Let's put it on there. And I've got one more. Woohoo! Oops, I spoke too soon. Let's see if this one's, this one's a little better. How's this one? Okay. How much? She says, I have 15 seconds on my timer. Okay, that's, that's okay. And then I'll put this over here. And then I'm going to just put some more sauce. And you can see, I don't really, I rarely measure anything. So you have a recipe that's measured on your end. And let's, um, let me just spread this over here. And there you go. Look at that. And that looked delicious. Now this is how I normally would just bake it. I put a little foil loosely on the top and just bake it like this for an hour. But um, if you like cheese on it, go ahead and sprinkle at this point. You can have some in the middle too if you want. You can add Parmesan cheese. This is just a little uh, mozzarella cheese, okay? And let me finish putting that on here and we'll pop this right in the oven. Now when I cook this, You'll want to put a like a cookie sheet, a baking sheet underneath it uh, because this will get bubbly and I don't really, it'll save having to clean your oven so much. Also, if you want to avoid it getting, the noodles getting too hard or too done on the bottom, um, then you will want to, what I do in the cookie sheet is I pour water in the cookie, in the bottom of the cookie sheet. So it's actually sitting in the middle of a cookie sheet and the water's in the round cooking in the pan. And for one hour at 375, and now it says, it, Melissa tells me it's time to take that out of the oven. I already covered it loosely with, um, with foil. Let me get this out. And let's see here. 
and I will show you what we're going to do. Let me put this over here. And see, do you remember my pot holders over here that I have? Today I'm using Portugal and I'm using Barbados. And I just dropped a piece of cheese and that didn't feel good on my, poor, on my bare feet. All right, so I'm going to pull this out. And you can let's see here. I need to, maybe I should put it on the, on one, on one of these because it's going to be a little wet. Okay. There we go. Look at that. I hope you can see it. I can tip it a little bit, but it may, might be a little bit juicy still. And that's all ready to go. This one, we're going to, there's, there's a baking pan in here with water. I'm just going to set it inside. And I'm going to take a couple of, of these um, foil sheets. I have a box in here. And I just pull them out. And I lay it loosely on top, in top because you don't want the cheese to stick, stick to it. If there's no cheese on it, then obviously you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's put this in here. Melissa, one hour, please. And that is all it does. Isn't that pretty cool? So, um, boy, this is really good enough to eat. You could just cut this up and so it's, let it cool just a little bit before you serve it. So if you pull this out and you let it rest for about 15 minutes before you're actually ready to serve, um, it's even 30 minutes would be good because then it's not so pipe, popping hot and, it's, and it won't be so juicy. You can see down here we've got a lot of nice juice back there and it's absolutely delicious and ready to eat. Have a little garlic bread with it, it's so good. You don't need any vegetables or anything else because all your vegetables are right here in the dish. So maybe you wanna have a nice strawberry shortcake or something for dessert, but you've got a great meal just like that. Next week we'll have our cake you can have for dessert with this. Wouldn't that be awesome? So let me see if we have any, um, uh, Rhonda says that she likes the VIO Bio Life cheese, especially the mozzarella, and it melts good too. So that's good, good I'm, like you send in your suggestions in. And um, let's see here, we have um, Mary Guy says we have a good clear sound. Thank you, Mary. It's good to hear that. And uh, let's see. Nancy's tell, saying that she lives in Florida. I didn't know you moved to Florida, Nancy. So, good. Um, and, Lachelle, you haven't found a good vegan cheese either. So, I, I know I haven't, but um, we, Rhonda says she did. Um, and Rhonda said that it tastes like the real thing. So, I'd be willing to try that. Well, tell me, Rhonda, where do you buy that at? Is, can you, do you have to have special order it? Do, can you get it in a grocery store? I've actually never seen that brand before. So I don't know. And uh, Tammy Brooke. Hi, Tammy. Thank you for joining us. And um, let's see. Oh, I do want to share with you about our Kids Club for Jesus. I want to thank you for joining us here on Kids Club for Jesus. On Friday night, I'll have story time for the kids. And we will also I'll be reading letters so the kids can write to me. Most will put the address of where your kids can write to me and Tell me all they do, things they do to share Jesus. I'd love to read their letters on the air. I will also have stories, and we have a special surprise at the end of every program, and we take prayer requests. So kids can and send in their prayer requests, and I will have a prayer at the end of every program. Both uh, Wednesday night and uh, Friday night at 5.30, right here on Facebook on Kids Club for Jesus. On Saturdays at 5.30, I'm on Brenda Walsh Ministries for praise and worship. And that is for adults and kids. It's for everybody. So it's on Brenda Walsh Ministries' Facebook page. And I invite you to come and tell me what your favorite songs are. You can even text them to me early if you want. And uh, that, that way, if I don't know them, I can try to learn them for you. And we would just really have a wonderful time praising Jesus. If there is a recipe that you would like to see prepared, write and let me know about it. Let me, let me hear from you. If there's a particular category that you would like to see and say, you know what, I would love to know how to do this, this, or this. Maybe you have one of my cookbooks and you're, there's a particular recipe that you love in there and go, oh, can you fix this? I'd love to hear from you. So please send those to us. 
I also want to share with you, uh, I have started a new group on Facebook called Daily Scripture from Brenda Walsh Ministries. I want to encourage you all to go there and, uh, and join the group. We have beautiful pictures with scripture verses on it. You get a new one every day. Friday you get two. You get a regular one and a happy Sabbath one. So um, join Daily Scriptures from Brenda Walsh Ministries. Encourage your friends to join as well. And the um the cheese and um and her husband says that the sound is better Woo well thank you again to lachelle and haziel for our new sound equipment we really appreciate it thank you for joining me and being a part of cooking with miss brenda so until next week remember it's your time to share jesus keep cooking and eat healthy bye everybody